Hello everyone, welcome back to another Makeup Bag Monday. This is week two. If you didn't see week one, I'll go ahead and leave it in the description box below. And then I'll also leave it up there in the cards as well. So basically what I'm doing is every week I'm taking products that I either haven't used for a while or new products for me or products that I just want to really try out and I stick them in a little makeup bag and I test them out for a week and then I come back and tell you guys the results that I had. So before we jump into this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and then also ring that little bell and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these Makeup Bag Mondays. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here are all the products that I wanted to test out this week. So the first thing is this Sonia Kashuk Chic Luminosity Bronzer and Highlight Duo. I didn't test out the bronzer si bronzing side just because it's way too shimmery for me. It's not that it's shimmery or glittery, it just has a bit of a sheen to it, which I don't personally like in my bronzer. So I did test out the highlight side of it. It is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today, if you guys can see that. It's more of a natural kind of highlight it's nothing that's going to give you a blinding highlight but there it is on my finger it's really pretty I actually really enjoyed it just something that I could go for a nice natural look if I wanted to amp it up a little bit I would spray it with some setting spray and then apply it and that would make it shine a lot more so I do like the highlight side of this again if maybe if you're more into a shiny bronzer you would probably like this but I personally just like the highlight next on to the foundation so this is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte I'm in the shade 101 so I do like this. I did find that it settled a little bit onto the dry patches on my nose. So what I would do is I'd take this and then I would mix a little bit of my N07 Lift and Illuminate in there. And I liked that combination a whole lot. This alone, just for my skin type, I like it. It's a lot better than some other foundations that I've had for dry skin, especially considering this is matte. Um, but it's just a little bit too matte for my nose. Everywhere else it's perfect, but on my nose is the hardest place that I have to find like the perfect foundation for. You can just see every little line of dry spots on my nose and if anybody who knows a great way to get rid of that let me know because it drives me crazy and then I tested out these Maybelline New York expert wear eyeshadows and I have to say I do really like them I didn't try every single color but the ones that I did try I really loved I tried this one in nude glow it's what I'm wearing all over my lids today and then I also put on soft pearl and I layered that on top of it and then in my crease, I put the Made for Mocha. I really, really enjoy it. It's easy to blend out. Very, very easy to blend out. Very pigmented as well. So I do think that these are awesome. I just took a brush and packed it on the outer corner of my eye and into the crease. And then blended it out with a big fluffy brush and it blended out beautifully. So I really enjoy these. So here is Nude Glow. This one is Soft Pearl. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that just because it is so light. This one is made for Mocha. And you can see how pigmented that is. I also have but didn't try the Glow Down. So here is the Glow Down. The other thing that I really enjoy about these shadows is they're really creamy and soft. They don't feel dry at all and they're very, very affordable. This one is in NY Silver. And those are all the shades that I have. So again, I really do enjoy them. They're soft and creamy and they blend out really, really well. So if you're looking for some good affordable eyeshadow singles, these would be great. You can pop them out, put them in a Z palette or keep them in there if you'd like. I think I might pop mine out and put them in a Z palette so I don't have a billion little single eyeshadows going around. But I did overall enjoy these. The next thing I tried out is the NARS blush in Orgasm. I just have this little deluxe size sample of it and I actually really, really enjoyed it. I thought by just looking at it that it was going to be really pigmented and I'd have to use a really light hand, but when you put it on a, the brush and then put it on your cheeks, it just comes off really, really nicely. I didn't have 
any crazy blending that I have to do, but it's just this nice, pretty pink rosy color and then with some gold flecks in there and I really enjoyed this a lot. I can already tell it's going to become one of my favorites. The next thing I tried out is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. This is in the shade Light. So I was really looking for something to set my entire face with. I already have a setting powder that I set underneath my eyes so that my eyes don't get dark. I wanted a translucent white powder for underneath my eyes and then a more skin tone powder for the rest of my face. I really, really enjoy this. It doesn't make my face look cakey or powdery, especially if I go in with a setting spray afterwards. I feel like it just melts really well into the skin and so it looks flawless and I really enjoy this and it's really good. I would definitely recommend these powders to everyone. And the last product that I tried out was the Dr. Bryant Pores No More Luminizer Primer. So I just have a little sample of this and I do like this, although I don't know if it really was illuminating at all. I would mostly just focus it right where my pores are and on my nose. The nice thing was it's not silicone-y so it doesn't make my dry skin even worse and I don't know if it necessarily filled in my pores. All I know is when I put my foundation on over it, it did look really flawless, it looked really smooth. So I don't know if you're looking for an illuminating primer, I don't necessarily think that this is it. And for a pore filling primer, I'm not sure either. It didn't really do much of either, but it is really good, if that makes sense. I like it. I will probably use this entire little thing up and possibly buy another one, but I don't know if it does exactly what it says it does. I don't know. If you guys have tried this, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on this one. Okay, so that's everything that I tried out this week. And then starting out with this week, some things that I want to play with and try out. This first one is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder. I've heard really good things about this. I've also heard really good things about the current setting powder that Cover FX came out with. I haven't picked that one up yet, but I do want to try this. This is just their little travel size of it. I've used it a couple of times, but not enough to really get my full opinion on it. I do really like the Laura Mercier setting powder, so I am going to see if this compares to that one at all. It's just a very finely milled powder, and I love that it comes with a little twist top so that you can twist it closed if you want to so that you're not getting powder everywhere either. The next thing that I want to test out is this NARS bronzer and blush duo in Talia. And it looks like this. I did pick this up in the Sephora VIB haul. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that up. The bronzer is a pretty neutral tone, I'd say. It's not too orange and then it's not too gray either. So I feel like this would be a really nice bronzer. For the blush, I feel like it's a nice nude. It's really, really light pinky apricot, I'd say. So I'm excited to try this one out as well and test it out and let you guys know what I think. The next thing I have is the Rock Pirates of the Caribbean Blush and Highlight Palette. I have used the highlight shades a couple times and I have to say they're fabulous. I absolutely love them, but I do want to play around more with the blushes, again with some of the other highlight shades in here as well. I think this palette is gorgeous. I just got it I think last week and I think it's absolutely stunning and beautiful so I can't wait to dive into more of this. And the last thing that I want to use is the Lorac Pro 3 palette. This was actually my the very first tie-in palette that I ever purchased. This kind of started it all. It kind of went from this going downhill with my money just going out the door to Ulta and Sephora. So I haven't used it in quite some time, but you can see there is definitely some love to it. The shadows are super pigmented, so soft and buttery. I love their shadows. So this is something that I wanted to rotate and use some more and remember why I loved it. So I'm excited for this one as well. All right, and that's all that I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed these Makeup Bag Mondays, again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see how I enjoyed them, then stick around to next week for Makeup Bag Monday week three. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.